Well, I want to move into something, Carrie, that we talked about on this week's episode of Buckets and Boomgates. The episode that dropped this week is on my favorite all-time subject. Mm -hmm. I mean, ever. Can I just say that? Ever. My favorite ever. And Kim, I think there could be um, a, maybe a, it's a multiple soapbox week here because not only did that podcast come out, but we do want you to speak about now one of your favorite words from Princess Speak. And it is collaboration. Some people hear that and they're like, no, I tried that once and I'm out. Like, I think there's a lot of pushback for this word, Kiri, but we know the power of it. Mm, absolutely. So, Kim, tell us a little bit about collaboration. How did you fall in love with collaboration? So this is a funny, to me it's funny because I didn't realize it until I was full grown. That when I was little, my nanny, my mama's mama, would do things at the church that we went to. And they would have like potluck dinners. They would have things that they did. All of the women would get together and they would all make something and bring it to the dinner. Everybody enjoyed the dinner, but each one of them brought whatever their specialty was. So whatever their thing that everybody said, oh, are you bringing that to, to this? I really believe that's where it was born in me. I think watching them come together, they would have a good time cooking together. They would have a good, but they all were doing something individually, coming together to do something collectively, and it benefited everyone. It benefited them and everyone that came. So I really think that's probably the very best picture of, or example I had growing up of what a collaboration can look like. But if you fast forward to adulthood and being an entrepreneur, I also have been there when I was the one cooking all the dinner. Everyone was eating it and I was in the corner with my tongue hanging out because I was exhausted. So I think whenever I got grown, I also realized that not everybody understood how to do a collaboration. Some people say, sure, I'll collaborate. They want to show up and take the credit but they didn't do the work to get there. So I do understand if you're listening and you're like, oh, that's not for me. I do understand that pushback, but I think you've probably participated in some low level collaborations instead of like gold medal standard. Like, you know, that I think of the Olympics and I think that collaboration can literally be Olympics worthy if you do it properly so that is my word of the week carrie that's my love my obsession my all the things and i love that our episode talks you know more in depth about it and thank you for always letting me talk about collaboration because i feel like that is the trifecta when you do a high level collaboration it's a win 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 it's not two wins it's three wins so I'll I'll crawl back down. <laughs> You're fine, Kim, and thank you for sharing that with us because it is really, I think, important. But I just want to reiterate again: maybe you've done something like a collaboration in the past that maybe has not quite gone to plan. Don't give up on it. Don't give up on having collaborations. Just tune into the episode and get some really good ideas about how to do one maybe a little bit differently. Oh, Carrie, can I talk about one we've done? Yeah. Oh, yeah, please. Oh, my goodness. Because we've done multiples, of course. But one of the ones we have done that I think turned into something such a huge deal is that you made something, you made a tool for your own self for subscriptions that were catching you off guard. And you shared that you had made that and I wanted it. And so you shared it with me and then somebody else heard about it because we were excited and somebody else wanted it. And it turned into a whole thing, Carrie, where mm -hmm. it is now, it has now saved, we're coming up on the anniversary, the one year anniversary, Carrie, mm -hmm. of, 
of this collaborative tool. You, let me be very clear about this. Carrie needed it. Carrie made the tool. I needed it. Carrie gave me the tool. That was my part. <laughs> it's like you. It. So, Carrie, can you give us a total for what this one tool has saved our community? And then I have one more thing I want to ask you. Okay. Well, I'm waiting for a special message from a very special community member to give me an official number, but I know we are over $60,000 saved in less than a year. So $60,000 is a lot of money and there's many contributors to that. So there's multiple people that have saved multiple amounts of money and added to that total. So it's pretty exciting, Kim. That is pretty exciting. And I do believe, Carrie, that was born from the collaboration of you made it, I needed it, you shared it, we started talking about it. Like it, it just turned into something so beautiful. So Carrie, if you don't mind, I would love to go to a, to a commercial about it. It's a one minute thing, but I would love for everybody to know about it. Cause guess what? The price is free. That's important to know. So let's go to that commercial, Carrie. Okay. Have you ever woken in the morning, opened your bank account and found you are overdrawn? Do you feel you have too much money going out of your business to unknown places? It's time to be in the driver's seat of your finances. Using simple subscriptions is the first step. Available on Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel using a simple four-step process. Grab your bank statements, list all of your recurring payments, then start taking action to cancel the charges you don't need to be paying. Let Simple Subscriptions show you how much you can save and help you track the progress. The community has saved over $60,000 so far, and you can join the tally by grabbing your free and private copy today from kerryzarb.com forward slash simple subs. I love it, Carrie. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thank you for sharing that with all of us. And I thank you for sharing it with like the community. I know we're like, <laughs> we're going to surprise everybody, but let me, let me throw this date out there so everybody can save the date. May the 10th, 6 p.m. Central, you are going to be doing a live demo of simple subscriptions and it's free. Like we mm -hmm. want to stress that this is something you created to help everyone in our community and you are generously offering to walk everybody through it. May the 10th, 6 p.m. Central time. So I want to say that before we get to the ears. <laughs> Correct. And the ears, the ears just need to hold for a second because let me add, Kim, that not only, well, the main reason we're walking through it is because not, not everyone loves spreadsheets. I'm very aware of this. Like I play with them on the daily, but they're not everybody's cup of tea or cup of coffee. So therefore we are going to get together and go through it live. So encourage anyone to come along to that. And certainly um, it's going to be fun as well. <laughs> always fun and um, the ears are proof 